So what sorts of improvement needed for Indonesia's economy really in terms of recovery in your point of view? Well, uh, first of all, the economy is beginning to recover already. You know, we saw that the economy uh, went into recession in the first quarter and the second quarter of last year. Uh, during the first half of uh, uh, last year, the economy fell by over 7%. So uh, uh, quite, a, quite a steep fall, but uh, the economy did begin to come back in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So it's on its way in terms of economic uh, recovery. In terms of what it takes, you know, the, the absolute most important thing is to get the uh, number of COVID cases under control. Indonesia uh, is one of the few countries that through the end of January did not see any decline over the many, many months now, almost a year, uh, that uh, we've been fighting uh, uh, the COVID pandemic. And uh, th this is critical. Now, I must say, uh, I was looking at data that uh, the uh, Johns Hopkins University puts together uh, uh, every day, and this morning it showed that the number of cases uh, did come down in the first two weeks of February, that uh, in January they peaked at about uh, 14,000 new cases per day. First two weeks of February, it seems to be about uh, 12,000 cases now. So that's the, actually the first decline I've seen uh, that, that's visible on the chart and uh, is a good sign that perhaps the combination of social distancing and uh, rolling out the vaccines uh, may begin, uh, is beginning to have an impact. Okay, Steve, we're currently in the process of mass vaccination going on in the country, but really how effective this COVID-19 vaccine and also omnibus law in job creation to boost the economic recovery for 2021? Yeah, there's a lot going on uh, that, that's positive for Indonesia. Uh, the, I think the good news about the vaccine is that now not only will the working age population be uh, vaccinated, but uh, the over 65 population as well. Uh, the, the emphasis originally on the uh, working age population was uh, to uh, keep the uh, labor force healthy and uh, may have been a good move. It's different than the way most countries have uh, strategized. Uh, but now uh, also vaccinating the over 65 will uh, probably go a long way to managing the costs of health care and managing the pandemic because, of course, the over 65 population is, is the most susceptible to the illness and the most susceptible to uh, death uh, from, from the illness. The omnibus bill uh, it is important. Uh, it uh, eases up labor market restrictions and uh, I think will make Indonesia uh, you know, a much more attractive place for foreign investment going forward. It's a little bit of a longer term impact. I mean, it just, nothing's going to happen automatically overnight uh, from the, uh, the, the, the omnibus bill. But I think what it does is it puts Indonesia a little bit on a better uh, level footing uh, with the rest of Southeast Asia in terms of attracting uh, in investor interest and uh, in, in Indonesia.